My English name is Christopher. My grandfather gave me my Chinese name, Yang Qi Ming. My grandfather is Yang San Lan. Yang Xu Yu Yan is my grandmother. This is our story. This story begins at an ending. The last time I saw my grandfather alive, he was walking after the car that was driving me to the airport. He was crying, waving, and walking down the driveway as the car drove out of the museum's driveway and out of sight. Upon later reflecting on the image, he was a man who had more to say, more to share, and didn't know how to make me see it without overwhelming me. Nature would have to take its course. I would have to summon the love for art and the pioneering creative spirit that I always wanted him to believe I had. I would have to be all these things for him if I was going to keep his dream alive. He didn't have that faith in his eyes that day. I like to imagine that in his quieter moments, he thought about the possibility more optimistically. My grandmother felt his loss heavily. Throughout the years, she held vigils for him, commemorated his life, and visited his mountaintop grave even after she herself became a centenarian. There was so much she wanted to tell me as well. Fortunately, this time, I was here to listen, even after all she could do to communicate her thoughts was to hold my hand. It wasn't until I'd found love myself that I understood what it must be like to lose a life partner. What it is like to not be able to hold on to what I have in someone else tightly enough. To know joy that is also tinged with the pain of realizing its temporary nature. How profound it must be when that love emanates from between two artists. Souls that share a love of art one of the pinnacles of humankind's quest to understand itself. My grandfather was more inclined to externalize with art, to make others participate in his process, to capture elements as they were. If one could consider painting to be one media through which the documentarian process can be authored, then he made oil painting in the process by which he pursued truths about his subject into a valid documentarian medium, just as others have with film, photography, and the like. Many religions and philosophies have given lip service to the idea that there is greater reward to be reaped by doing a kindness towards someone who will never know what you have done for them. Many have assumed that I wish my grandfather knew I would be a part of keeping his dream of interacting with the people of Taiwan and the world through his art alive, and certainly that has come to mind. But I wish moreover that my grandparents could have come to know the kindness that they have given to me by way of the gift that has taken shape as a result of coming and being a part of keeping this dream alive. And so it is that the story ends at a beginning. <laughs>